Welcome to another Research Connection. I'm here with Dr. Gustavo Machado. He is an assistant professor in our population health and pathobiology department, and he's going to talk to us about the rapid access biosecurity app that he created in 2019. So the app helps uh, swine companies prepare for biosecurity threats. Can you tell us a little bit about it and the research that led to the creation of this app? Mm -hmm. Well, the RAB app, as we call, mm -hmm. is actually was started here in our swine meeting that we meet with the industry in North Carolina for the past 17 years that has been happening. And there was a need for the companies to build the biosecurity plans, which is a voluntary program to prepare against foreign animal diseases. So that's when we started. And it was all thanks to the vets, the local vets that work here in North Carolina. So we started 19, we're working now two years and a half already with the company, with other companies. Mm -hmm. And now we are in about 60 companies and 17 states. So started here and now spread out throughout the country. So oh. thank, thanks to the interest of the local industry and the, mm -hmm. their trust on us to make it happen. So a little bit on like how it works. So mm -hmm. um, there's high risk and there's low risk. How do um, you guys identify those? Mm -hmm. So farms are infected with endemic diseases, so diseases that are circulating naturally. Um, and the industry keep track of uh, those infections. And through the collaboration with us, we have access to those information. So based on that, and based on how pigs move between farms, and when farms are located, we work out how the disease is spread by, for example, pigs coming from farm A, to farm B, and there is a risk associated to that. So we work out the whole uh, transmission uh, chain, as we call, throughout those farms, and then farms that are more likely to become infected, those are the ones that are highlighted, and that information goes back to the companies and for their own uh, decision making. You currently work with around 10,000 swine farms. Can you talk more about the collaborations that you have that make it possible for it to grow so quickly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are actually two years into this project and thanks to other universities, so we have partnership with six other universities, extension uh, divisions there, and most importantly industry. So the industry put a trust that they need to have the preparation uh, before, for example, African swine fever, which is what we are preparing for, comes into the country. So it's associated to the risk that African swine fever is already in uh, DR and Haiti. Uh, that the industry started to be more uh, more nervous about preparation, so that's also helping, and they are well aware that if we ha we get hit by that disease, mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge problem, you know, not only for swine, but also for the other commodities. So, mm -hmm. with their support, is 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 how we are making it to different states, and of course, the state vets in all these other states are also in support. They understand. Uh, the risk of this disease and how, how much the data is needed right now before we have uh, the epidemic instead of trying to, to fight that when, you know, try to get that data when we already are infected. So we are preparing ahead of time, mm -hmm. like differently from COVID, you know, if I could make an yeah. analogy there, COVID, you know, it, it just hit us without us being well prepared. In this case, we are preparing now before actually this disease hit us. So. And what hopes or goals do you have specifically for the growth of the app? Mm -hmm. So RabApp is a web application, so it is well protected. Uh, it's, it's really uh, suited not only for swine. We already have funding to do it for cattle. So we're working with Kansas State to do the same or similar thing for, for food and mouth disease for cattle. And also because of high pad influenza, there is some request from the poultry industry to do exactly the same thing for the poultry industry. So that's where we're trying to go. You know, I'm not saying that we're doing next year, but <laughs> that's where we're trying to go next. <laughs>